Kawa. Hi there, I'm your new friend Panda from Paukwa, and today we will learn together about Dr. Rachel Masake, the animal doctor. We always want to hear a story of someone who was determined not to give up no matter what. Dr. Rachel was someone like that and we are going to hear more about her story. Come along for our adventure today. Doctors for animals are called veterinarians or vets. Have you ever met an animal doctor before? Have you ever been in a place where everyone was different from you? Maybe you felt scared and you wanted to go back home where it's safe. Dr. Rachel was the first female doctor for animals in the whole of Kenya. Before she became one, every other vet was a man. At a young age, just like us, she really wanted to be an animal doctor. So when she got a chance to join the University of Nairobi to study, she was one of the 25 students and the only girl in her class. At the university, some of the other students were kind to her but many of them did not make her feel welcome just because she was a girl. But still, Rachel continued learning and working hard and would not let them make her give up on her dream. Eventually, she graduated from the university and everyone, especially her family, was very proud of her. Dr. Rachel wanted to be the best animal doctor so that she could help people in her community have healthy animals. From the tiny puppies with brown and black patches to the big cows that we see in the farms. Dr. Rachel was determined to find out what was wrong with the animals that people brought to her clinic. She also wanted to learn more about the medicine that would stop animals from sicknesses that could be prevented. This medicine is called immunization. And you know what? Dr. Rachel got a scholarship to the United States of America to study immunization. While there, she worked hard and excelled in her studies. When she was done, she came back home right away to continue serving her community with all the knowledge she had received. Dr. Rachel was so good at what she did that she became a famous scientist at a big organization called ILRI. She helped to make medicine that farmers all over Kenya and Africa could use to protect their cows from dying. More and more people could now see that girls made good vets too. Dr. Rachel wanted to help many girls become vet doctors, and she worked with the people in the universities to make sure that all girls were welcome to study. Because of Dr. Rachel's hard work, people around her accepted that both men and women could make very good vets. So when you see healthy-looking cows and goats, remember Dr. Rachel's determination, hard work, and service. Now Kenya has many more vets who love and respect one another. See you next time for another great story from us here at Paukwa. Bye! Pakawa. Pakawa.